News 5 at 5 continues now. Well, in the last seven months, Palmer police chased people into Cleveland five different times. Three ended in serious crashes. Three people were killed. The police chases prompted a meeting with Cleveland and Parma City leaders. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan has been covering this issue since last summer. Now, Katie and Damon, I was supposed to speak with the chief of police and safety director yesterday, just hours before that interview. They canceled, saying their law office told them and the mayor not to talk about recent pursuits, citing potential lawsuits. What we do know now, Parma police want flock cameras. New video from Parma's most recent pursuit in Old Brooklyn Tuesday night. Parma says they were helping out Seven Hills police tracking a stolen car through OnStar. You can see the car weaving through traffic and when police cross into Cleveland. The car was slowed by OnStar and hit a telephone pole. It appears four people bailed. A different chase two weeks ago left Kerry Pekarsik without a car. I was kind of shaking. Surveillance video shows when his van was hit nearly head on. The chase is under review. I think they're cowboys. They want to, you know, get on the horse and chase somebody. It's crazy. Last November, a 70 year old man was hurt in a T-bone crash during a chase. And in August last year, two separate chases just days apart. The first ended in a fiery crash. In the second one, police say the officer lost sight of a car they were after on 176. The car went head on into a Sanjay Goodman who was heading to the store. And I was going in and out of consciousness and I thought like, and I was like, I hope this isn't it. In 2023, Parma said it had fewer chases than the year before and terminated them more frequently. In an email, the mayor noted a pursuit policy change last spring as well as additional training. But the two deadly chases last August prompted Cleveland city leaders to call for a meeting with Parma. That happened in September. The mayor said in an email, Cleveland was satisfied with their pursuit training, supervisor oversight and policy review. In a recent budget meeting, the chief requested $12,000 for flock cameras. Police say they hope will alleviate the need to chase into neighboring cities like Cleveland. And right now, Parma has just three license plate readers at intersections near the Cleveland border. They'll lose access to neighboring flock cameras next month. The man who had his van totaled says he can't file a claim yet with Parma since he still doesn't have a car. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.